This video content is not intended for children. Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. Well, I'm back from Gulf Shores. And not only did I do some fishing, I also did some lure hunting. Let's see if I got any good deals. We're going to start with Academy Sports. I found these items in Gulf Shores, Alabama because I took the time to go there and look. I didn't spend all that much money. $12.01. It was actually $10.82 before tax. Let's see what I got. First off, I got some Big Bite Baits. Swimming Craw in Green Pumpkin. I've recently been doing some reading about Big Bite Baits. They make a lot of baits for a lot of people, but you know, they're under contract, so it could actually be a different brand, and you don't even know that it's this guy, Big Bite Baits. Pretty wild, the stuff I was reading. Anyway, Swimming Craw, 97 cents. Can you believe it? I got a pack of craws for 97 cents. I thought that was a good deal. All right, we also have the original four inch Queen Kakaho Minnow. Yes, Kakaho. This color is Fighting Tiger. It's got a chartreuse tail. The body is sort of a shad kind of color. So I picked it up. Thought it might work around here because not many dudes around here are fishing saltwater swim baits, so it might be an original look. They might want to go for it. For this I paid 97 cents. 10 soft swim baits for 97 cents. New look just might work. Pretty sure they don't see too much of that. Let's see what else we got. I got another pack of 4 inch Kakaho minnows here. This color though, New Penny. So that's kind of got a copper colored body. Kind of looks like a golden shiner maybe. I think I could probably get a bite on this as well. Not many people fish in H&H &H swim baits up here in Tennessee. Let's see what else we got. Oh, that was 97 cents in case I didn't say it. All right, we got some more H&H &H products here. We got Shad Jig Heads, right? I thought these were pretty cool because they got big red eyes with rattles in them. Again, probably meant for salt water, but if I use this with one of these swim baits, I bet I could get a bite. I really like the look of these. For this, I paid $1.97, and I basically got it to go with those four inch swim baits. Let's see if there's anything else. Here we have Procure Shredder Crab Premium Grade Bait Oil. So this says Professional Grade Fish Oil. So this says it's a super powerful, full strength fish oil to enhance the attraction of any bait or lure. If I make my own lures here at home, I might put some of this oil on them. I might even just try it on my baits in general. Maybe these swim baits. Thought it was a cool, interesting thing here. I don't think I've ever tried a fish oil product like this. Anyway, the Pro Cure Crab Oil, $2.97. That's a pretty good deal for a Pro Cure product, and I really like some of their other stuff. Their sticky fish attractants are really good. I wanted to see what this oil does. Anything else? Looks like one more thing here. We got fish sticks, fish attractant. So it's like a chapstick lure enhancer. I have never tried this before. I saw it on sale. I just had to get it. I love this kind of stuff. Does it actually work? Is it totally a gimmick? I mean, it says KVD right on there. KVD. Does KVD really use this? Or did they pay him to say so? I always wonder about this kind of stuff. Anyway, all this for 
$10.82 plus tax. I thought it was pretty good, especially these two items. They're so unusual that I can't wait to try them. I almost want to smell them right now. Let's do it. I just, I just can't resist. Shredder crab oil. It actually smells kind of good. Kind of salty, like a uh, clam chowder. I don't know. That one ain't so bad. Let's see if I can get this one open. This is the Shad Scented Fish Sticks. Uh... I mean, I guess that smells like shad. To me, it smells more like licorice, anise. What is the, what's the ingredients? It doesn't say. Um, it says shad. To me, it smells like licorice. But who knows? Maybe fish think it smells like shad. Anyway, all this stuff is awesome. For 10 bucks, I can't wait to get out there and try it. Let's see what else we got. All right, I got this stuff from a thrift store, antique store, marketplace kind of a place down there in Summerdale, Alabama. They kind of, this receipt is kind of funny how they rang this up, but I spent a total of $5 on fishing stuff, and this is what I got. You ready to check this out? $5 worth of fishing stuff at an antique store, flea market kind of place. Here we go. Split rings, right? A whole bag of split rings. Pretty good size. 50 cents, I think I paid for this. This is gonna be good for when I gotta replace those hooks on some crankbaits. I couldn't pass it up for 50 cents, that's a lot of them. Here we got some Havoc Pit Bosses. I've used these in videos last year, the year before. One of my favorite kind of flipping baits right here, Pit Boss. Says a buck, but everything was 50% off. 50 cents for a pack of Pit Bosses. And that deal was so good, I had to get another one. This one says a buck 50. So I actually paid 75 cents for this one. Still a good deal. All right, here I got a jig, right? It just says jig. Booth 98, 50 cents. I paid a quarter for this jig. Let's check it out. Good looking jig here. I would say this is a Arky Bass Jig Rattle Band. It's not really the most sought after jig in the world, but for 25 cents, I'll give it a try and catch a bass, and I won't feel bad if I get snagged and lose it. Let's see what else I got. More split rings. A little bit smaller for some smaller crankbaits here. Paid a quarter for those. Here we go. Now we're into the good stuff. Uncle Josh's Pork Rind Baits. Jumbo Pork Frog number one. Look at that. This is kind of a rare item. I think they stopped making this Uncle Josh's stuff. It was marked at $1.50. I paid 75 cents for these Jumbo Pork Frogs. That made it worth it for me, the whole trip. All of this is just a bonus. This jumbo pork frog, amazing. Anything else? My all-time favorite panfish bait, one-inch gulp minnows. This is the emerald shiner color. Look at that. Marked one dollar. I paid 50 cents for a whole jar of gulp minnows. 
I'll catch bluegills, I'll catch sunfish, small bass, all sorts of stuff on these. Awesome. I got weeks of fishing here. I mean, these are amazing. Let's see if there's anything else. Another pack of Havoc Pit Bosses. This one was marked $1.50. I also paid $0.75 cents for this one. I got three different colors here. I got Purple Pumpkin Red, Okeechobee Craw, and Big Texan. That's fun. What else we got here? I got a Bandit Crankbait. Just someone's loose tackle in their tackle box. Nice Bandit Crankbait here. They had it marked $2.00. A buck. I'll buy this crankbait for a dollar all day long. Anything else? Nope, that's it. So, for a total of five dollars, five dollars, I got a bandit crankbait. One, two, three packs of Havoc Pit Bosses. Two bags of split rings. I can redo all my old rusty crappy crankbaits with these. 75 cents. All those split rings. Can't forget about the jig for a quarter. The gulp minnows for 50 cents. And the star of the show. 75 cents Uncle Josh's Jumbo Pork Frog. Pretty sure this is a collector's item. I don't know if it's because they're rare and they don't make it, or if it's because it's awesome and it catches tons of fish. I'm just happy to have it in my collection. So looking at all these baits, I mean, that shows that the deals could be anywhere. You just got to know when and where to look. A lot of people out there say, I can never find any deals. That might be because someone else is finding them before you. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Good luck finding those deals out there and keep it realistic.